Hello everyone, thank you for attending my presentation. I'm Chiu Sun Wu from the University of Tennessee and uh, the title of my presentation is Interactive Mapping and Geospatial Analysis Using the Open Source Leaf Map uh, Python Package. The uh, slides for my presentation can be accessed by scanning the QR code at the lower right corner or by go to the URL gshub.org slash tingic. Here is the outline of my uh, presentation. First, I will briefly introduce uh, leaf map, and then I will demonstrate some of the key features of the package. Uh, then I will show you a live demo how to use the leaf map uh, interactive web app uh, using just a browser. And lastly, I'm going to show you some uh, additional resources if you want to learn more uh, about the package. And hopefully we have uh, um, time for some uh, questions and answers. Okay, first let me briefly introduce uh, LeafMap. So uh, what exactly is LeafMap? Uh, it is a Python package for interactive mapping and geospatial analysis with minimum coding in a Jupyter environment. So I have to highlight here uh, minimum coding or even no coding. And everything runs entirely uh, in the browser. It is open source project that I uh, started in May 2021. Uh, so it's basically just uh, less than half years old and uh, it has been quite popular in the geospatial community uh, it's uh, hosted on github so you, everything is open source and you can uh, check out the github repository uh, if you're interested in looking at the source code and so far it has more than um, 970 stars on uh, github repository it can be used in jupyter google collab or even uh, streamlit uh, so i'm going to show you some examples uh, uh, shortly. LeafMap is an open source package uh, and uh, you can install it uh, using a number of ways. Uh, you can install using the PyPI using the traditional pip installation. Uh, you can also install from uh, Conda uh, or also from GitHub. And uh, I also have video tutorials showing how to install uh, if you're interested in. But uh, you don't have to, uh, actually you don't have to install anything on a computer. You can directly just go to the link here i'm showing uh, google collab or using uh, jupyter binder so you can just click the link open uh, in your browser you can run it using uh, your ipad your tablet or using uh, even your cell phone and it's very easy to use uh, you can see just a, a one line of code you can create an interactive map and then you can start playing with the map uh, with some interactive uh, functionality or even doing uh, geospatial uh, analysis and I also have a, a website, uh, leafmap.org, so it uh, has a, a comprehensive documentation showing you how to use the package, how to install, and how to, uh, a lot of tutorials and uh, Jupyter Notebook. Also, you can check out the source code even uh, on this documentation uh, website. And uh, I recommend it if you are interested in learning more uh, about the package. I also published a short paper describing uh, the package. and. Uh, uh, you are welcome to cite the paper yeah, if you find uh, it useful. Next, I'm going to show you some key features uh, of the leaf map package so they can uh, get an idea about what things the leaf map uh, package can do and might potentially be helpful for your uh, resource project. So the first one uh, here is about uh, changing the base map without uh, coding. Uh, basically, you can use the uh, leaf map to uh, change base map. For example, change the layer opacity. You can also select, for example, layer from uh, hundred layers without having to write any line of code. Uh, as long as the map is created, uh, you can use the toolbar to easily switch the base map uh, without coding. So, and it's much easier uh, than, uh, for example, if you're using desktop ArcGIS, uh, you might um, need to basically add those uh, web services uh, manually. And so this one already has a collection of base map that uh, allow you to switch uh, easily. You can also search and load base maps. Uh, so the previous one uh, only had like 200, about 200 base maps, but uh, you can also uh, search base map on the internet uh, using the quick map uh, services or XYG services. So it has total of, of uh, over 1,000. So we can easily search and to find any base map relevant to your project, and then you can load it uh, onto the map. Uh, you can also create a base map gallery. So for example, if you want to see all the base map all at once uh, so they can pick up uh, pick out the the base base map uh, for your application you can just using one line of code you can for example create something like this easily and all the base maps are linked together so if you zoom in or zoom out or 
uh, pan uh, the map, uh, everything will be linked together and uh, zoom in and zoom out uh, all together. So give you a quick overview about uh, all the base map. And this map also has a couple of uh, so-called protein back and um, there's just so many uh, protein libraries out there and sometimes it's not very convenient because all the packages do not uh, share the same functionality all the functions are different and sometimes you have to learn multiple packages and leaf map makes it much easier uh, for you to learn uh, you just need to learn one single package for example leaf map and behind the scene it all has similar api that you can create maps based on multiple protein backends so in this case using the uh, capital.gl uh, uh protein library so it's very powerful you can create some beautiful uh 3d maps within just a couple lines of code and then you can customize it if you want so for example you can add polygon you can add line uh you can add uh, geojson you can customize the color everything is uh very uh, easy uh, you can easily customize that uh, using the interactive uh, tools without having to uh, write any kind of code so this is the uh, the capital uh, GL protein backend. Uh, we also have the uh, PyTech. Uh, similarly, you can also do 3D. Um, and again, using the same fun, uh, API, basically the source code is the same. You just need to import different uh, protein backends. Then you can create interactive map like this. And as you can see, it's not very complicated. Every single one's entirely in the browser. So you don't actually need to install anything on your computer. And you can just launch um, the Jupyter Notebook or Google Collab that I showed you earlier, and then you will be able to uh, easily uh, create something like this. So for those of you who are not familiar with uh, Google Collab or Jupyter Notebook, uh, basically just uh, an, an online uh, uh, editor that allow you to write code. Think about Google Document. You can write text. You can write a report. But Google Collab and Jupyter is basically just uh, online editor allow you to write uh, source code. Besides uh, um, creating some base map, you can also load uh, data from your local computer or from the uh, internet. So for example, you can load vector data, you can load raster data, and it also support a bunch of uh, a format, for example, GeoJSON or SwiftFile or any vector data set supported by GeoPanda. So basically, uh, it has a wide range of data support, and you can also directly launch data uh, uh load data from the internet so if you have something stored somewhere uh, it's it's open access then you can directly load those data so in this case just a csv with uh, uh xy coordinates and then you can just uh, couple uh, no coding so basically you just load the data and just pasting the link and then you can uh, visualize the data uh, easily you can also add uh, a csv uh, and then you can add a layer you can also select what kind of pop-up attribute what you want to have so in this case this is just a a, a point a set of cities u.s cities uh, and then for example you can select uh, the pop-up attribute you want to show just the city name and also the population something like that so again no coding uh, very easy to do using leaf map um, besides uh, loading the existing data you can also download data from the open street map so in this case you can just use one line of code uh, using a leaf map and then you can download data and load the data directly onto leaf map so different from the base map uh, those are web map services uh, this data you download it from open street map uh, basically just the uh, source data uh, in vector data format so they can utilize in other project and again it's just very easy to do and you can download it just using one line of code and you can download any feature, or any data set uh, available in the open uh, open stream map uh, data set besides our downloading data loading local data you can also read data directly from a PostGIS database so if you are uh, familiar with a database you already have data stored in that uh, you can again use one line of code you can load the data directly from your database onto the map and then you can do uh querying you can do uh, manipulation you can do visualization so um, very easy to do besides loading data you can also create something like this uh this is so-called a uh, split panel map so for example if you have multiple data layers and you want to visualize the uh the changes between the data layers for example uh some events before and after so for example in this case a link use then cover change you can create this uh, again using couple lines of code and then you can have something like this that you can 
visualize and see the changes so the split panel map you can only create two maps uh, but uh, div map also has a link maps uh, function allow you to create uh, multiple rows and columns so for example if you want to have uh, multiple maps on the same um, look, uh, to, to visualize multiple map all at once you can also use this uh, conveniently uh, by the way i forgot to mention so for each feature uh, there's a uh, upper right uh, upper here, section here has a G, uh, gaf and also notebook so basically uh, it has all the source code you are welcome to look at the source code and also click to see the uh, animation on uh, youtube and so uh, everything is reproducible so you can um, use those notebook to customize it uh, to suit uh, your uh, projects and so this one here is showing you basically the time slider for visualizing planet uh, global mosaic imagery so for example from for the past uh, two to three years for example you can use that to visualize uh, lane service changes using the high resolution imagery uh, this is uh, three to five meter resolution uh, you can do it like monthly or weekly and it's free uh, you can just sign up an account then you can have an api key then you can have access to uh, this data set uh, you can use the slider bar to just um, uh, navigate through and to visualize the data set uh, easily besides just read, uh, reading the data loading the data um, LibMap also has the white box uh, tools integrated so it has uh, over 470 tools for geospatial analysis so for those of you who are familiar with uh, ArcGIS or QGIS you might already be familiar with those two boxes they can use to um, do geospatial analysis but uh, keep that in mind you need to install those packages um, huge packages on your computer like gigabyte hundreds of megabyte and in this case uh, libmap is only several megabytes so you can run that just in the browser you don't actually have to install anything on your computer and it's very convenient it, it also has the interface so you can just uh, select any data set and then you can do the uh, analysis without having to write any live code so um, try it out you can do um, hydrological analysis GS analysis or any uh, some lidar uh, analysis so uh, very powerful uh, you can check it out uh, using the noble example i uh, saw in the link uh, above okay so there's about some of the key features i um don't have time to show you all the features you're welcome to check out the uh the website for more information uh, and also the more tutorials uh, next i'm going to show you some of the uh, the, uh web app demo that you can um, go online and click the link to navigate and uh, explore uh, by yourself this is an uh, interactive web app that built uh, upon leafmap and uh, uh, swimlet and you can go to the link here uh, to check it out by yourself and you can do a lot of cool 3d mapping using uh, this uh, online web app uh, you can run it just uh, using your browser uh, on your cell phone or your tablet uh, it should be um, supported as well and so next i mean, i have a short uh, animation here showing you uh, this is basically a uh, uh, an interactive web app uh, allow you to visualize the u.s uh, real estate uh, market basically the housing data and you can visualize it in 3d you can change for example the color um, you can change different uh, um, scale for example by uh, county by state uh, or by major uh, labels and basically you can do multi-level you can also for example do it by weekly monthly so all the data are free access from the realtor.com uh, and basically I automatically retrieve the data and then join that with um, uh, polling and swap files and then allow you to visualize the data uh, directly without having to um, look at the spreadsheet and so it's very easy to do you can just customize it uh, to any way you like and uh, very easy to do uh, you can just check out the link I uh, saw on the previous page to uh, explore this uh, um, application and uh, everything is just uh, hosted just on the free uh, stream the platform so you don't need to pay anything uh, it basically you can utilize leave map and other open source python packages to build interactive web app and you can have a tons of uh, cool uh, applications uh, that you can do using uh, these open source packages uh, besides the that app you can also for example load any 
uh, web services, um, uh, web map services uh, layers, uh, WMS, you just need to paste the URL and you automatically retrieve all the uh, layers and then you can just visualize it uh, easily without having to install anything on your computer. Uh, so if you're interested in learning more about uh, these open source and mapping packages, uh, you're welcome to uh, check out the resources here. And I have a YouTube channel um, with almost uh, 10,000 subscribers and uh, over 300,000 uh, views. And I publish a lot of uh, videos on uh, interactive mapping, open source, and also uh, Google Engine. Uh, you're welcome to check out the YouTube channel. I also have uh, a couple of courses online, uh, free on YouTube. So uh, teaching how to develop open source packages uh, and also for example uh, special data management with uh, Google Engine and also PostGIS and if you're interested in learning more uh, you can check out the video and uh, uh, let me know if you have any questions okay uh, thank you very much for your attention uh, if you have any questions I'm happy to uh, answer your questions